Please welcome Snowflake Senior Product Manager, Sananda Saxena. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the build session on next generation data products. My name is Sananda, and I'm a product manager in the collaboration space here at Snowflake. In this session, we'll go over data products and all the exciting new capabilities to enrich and build AI-ready data products. Then we'll go through all the new capabilities and a demo showing how to use these data products in real-world use cases. So we've talked about this a lot. There's really no AI strategy without a data strategy. What you put in determines what you get out. And what that really means is that building foundational, trusted, discoverable data assets are the key to leveraging any AI strategy and unlocking your use cases. Yet, we continue to see signals today that most customers don't have the right data systems to supercharge their AI needs. Oftentimes, many find it challenging to integrate the right trusted data sources or properly manage governance and access for these sources. And as you can see here, about 85 of the customers report that all their AI initiatives are unsuccessful, primarily because of lack of readiness of their underlying data. So when we're thinking about building data strategy, there are some common challenges that we see customers talk about repeatedly. First, data is often locked away in silos, making it difficult to find the right data, which very few people have the tribal knowledge about. Even if you find the right data, understanding and making sense out of it becomes a challenge as well. And then many of these data products are low quality or duplicative, making it difficult to really know what's trustworthy and what should be used for any higher level use cases. And this is where Snowflake really helps you build and share certified, trustworthy data products easily for all your business needs. Leveraging our zero ETL sharing capabilities you can easily set up simple to use cost-effective data products with Snowflake and manage it throughout its lifecycle, sharing it within your organization and across your organization. It also has robust governance controls, as we'll see later in the session, to help you share and access data products with confidence. And you can easily build and share interoperable data products that are built on open table format. Again, we'll see that in a few slides. All right, so how do we think about data products at Snowflake? Data products are really a curated collection of assets which enable actionable insights towards achieving specific business outcomes. These can contain a variety of things. They can contain data like tables, views. They can contain metadata. They can also contain code and can be run on various different platforms. So really, all of this collection is really your trusted bundled data product. So with that, let's take a look at what's new at AI Ready Data Products at Snowflake. All right, so the first one is Cortex Knowledge Extensions. Building AI Ready Data Products that can be used immediately by Cortex AI or any agentic surface is super important for our customers. But the challenge is, that LLMs don't always have the most latest context. And when, you, when you're using search LLM tools, many of them can only fetch information from a few selected scrapable websites. So then, how do you get the most up-to-date and accurate information related to your data when it is impacted by external events and third-party events? This is where Cortex Knowledge Extensions comes in. Powered by our Cortex Search Engine, it helps you access near real-time, licensed, high-quality data from third-party sources that can be used in any of your AI applications, helping you enrich your answers about first-party data with external events and third-party data. It's built on Cortex Search and uses unstructured information to first vectorize it. As a data product owner, you can easily build and share a Cortex knowledge extension on the Snowflake Marketplace or with other consumers within your organization through internal marketplace or through private shares. And as a consumer, you can then use that Cortex knowledge extension as part of Snowflake intelligence to augment your answers about your first party data with real context from third party data. 
Super powerful capability, very excited to show more in the demo. All right, another new cap capability is the support for semantic views in your data products. Now, not only can you query your data products using SQL, but you can actually talk to your data by adding semantic views to it as well. Just like today, you've been adding objects, tables, and regular views to your data products, you can now enrich those using semantic views that are built using Cortex Analyst into your data products. And then you can share it within your organization through internal marketplace or across Snowflake Marketplace or to other consumers that then allow them to build chat functionality using Cortex agents, Snowflake intelligence, or directly by querying or chatting with this um, data product. Really, really powerful capability in building rich data products and unlocking a new segment of business and non-technical users through chat interface. OK, so data products and data providers want to deliver richer data products that go beyond raw tables. They want to include analysis notebooks, helper functions, interactive tools. But today, there's no middle ground between the simplicity of shares that Snowflake offers and the native app framework to add data and code. With that, we've added a whole new approach to share by a declarative sharing, which bridges the gap between simple data shares and full native apps. It allows you to enable and bundle data with code objects through a simple YAML-based approach without the complexity of managing SQL scripts or setup grants. So providers can easily define what they want to share in a declarative manifest file. And the system handles everything from privileges to grants to fulfillment and uh, use of all the code. Another major expansion of Snowflake's data products that I want to talk about is sharing with open table format support. Now, you can easily and securely share open table formats, including Apache Iceberg and Delta Lake, across regions and across clouds. This release allows source providers to securely share data that is stored in open table formats across any region, cloud, or account without building complex pipelines or incurring exponential per query egress charges. You simply add your iceberg tables to the data product now and share it just like you do through our listings. Snowflake handles all the fulfillment and access of the shared iceberg data across different accounts, regions, and organizations. This open table format is enabled by cross-cloud auto-fulfillment, which simplifies data sharing for Delta Lake Apache Iceberg directly from your cloud storage. Again, really powerful capability and allows you to remove the need to manage underlying infrastructure or maintain complex ETL jobs. In addition, it also optimizes data transfer cost by using the egress cost optimizer, which helps you avoid unpredictable and astronom astronomical costs related to per query egress charges. OK, so another really great capability that is now uh, available is providers can inf enhance their notebooks even further by adding notebooks to it to help consumers accelerate evaluation of data products and allow providers to supercharge their adoption further. These notebooks can contain ready-to-use examples and visualizations in SQL, Python, or any library of their choice, and you can add it in your provider examples to the data product. Super strong, super great capability to further continue enriching your data products. So the last new exciting feature that I want to talk about before jumping into a demo is the ability to represent domains within the organization, specifically through internal marketplace. So a lot of customers told us that representing their business domains and data domains is critical when building data products for the internal marketplace. So this, with this capability, you can now represent your different domains like marketing, sales, supply chain in internal marketplace and allow the consumers to easily search, filter, and understand data products originating from different sources with ease. 
very powerful capability. We're very excited for customers to try it out. OK, so we talked about a lot of capabilities here. And all these capabilities are accessible through our data products that are surfaced through multiple avenues. Snowflake Marketplace, which is also now available in VPS. Internal Marketplace for your own in, in enterprise, where you can build and share data products just within your organization. And all of these AI data, data ready products can be shared both on internal and Snowflake Marketplace. And in addition, they're both built on the powerful sharing capabilities that Snowflake offers today with the powerful cross-region, cross-cloud fulfillment capabilities. OK, so before we go to the demo, I just want to reiterate how critical rich data products are for unlocking business value to AI, BI, or analytics. This is the most essential component for any enterprise strategy, and we're excited to continue investing and building and supporting this further. So with that, let's jump into the demo. I have Vino with us who's going to drive the demo. Hi, Vino. Hey, Sananda. Excited to be here. Awesome. So let's switch over the demo and see how we're going to work this. We'll build two different data products, one originally from the HR department and the other from the marketing department. So here, I'm now in, a, in my Snowflake account and building a um, data product from an iceberg table. As you can see here, first, before building the data product, let me try to add some projection policies so for this HR data so that I can protect it. So I'm now defining some projection policies. And then I'm adding the policy to the col column salary so that this, this information can be used in queries but cannot be seen by my consumers in the clear. Great. So now that I have the policies on my HR data, I'm going to create a share and add all the iceberg tables to the share. This will allow it to be ready to be packaged as a data product. I'm going to use the role HR domain sale, um, role and to create the share. Now that I've created the share, I'm going to create a listing that will serve as my data product. Data products and serve, uh, on Snowflake allow you to add a lot of metadata, information about contact, finer access control, as you can see here. And this HR data product is going to go uh, be shared with the sales organization. OK, so let me go to the provider studio and see this data product that we just created. I'll go into my listings tab, and you'll see the HR facts data product is now created with all the metadata information from the HR domain shown in the, in the data product. You can see it has description, some data dictionary, and a lot more um, metadata that I specify, specified. OK, but now I also want to add a semantic view to my data product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a semantic view on top of the iceberg tables that I had just added, as you can see here. And after that, I'm going to take the semantic view and create it on top of the share so that the same share shows the semantic view. Now, when I refresh my data product, you see that it shows that it's Cortex AI ready, meaning it's now ready to actually be talked to um, using the semantic view. Great. So now we've done with the HR data product consisting of iceberg and semantic views. I also have unstructured information from the marketing team that I want to use to create another data product coming from marketing team. So for that, I'm going to vectorize the unstructured data using Cortex Search and use it to create the share. This new share will serve as the basis for the new data product from marketing team. So I'm now creating another data product with this vectorized unstructured information through Cortex Knowledge Extensions. This data product, again, has a lot of metadata in addition to the Cortex Knowledge Extensions. OK, great. So now I have my two data products ready, one from HR and one from marketing. Now, both of these have been shared to the sales organization. Now, I'm in my sales organization account in a different region. As you can see, I'm in my internal marketplace, and I'm going to search and see the same data products that I just published. Now, this HR Facts live demo data has all the metadata that I had just supplied, including the iceberg tables and the semantic view. OK. So now, I want to use these two data products to build an agent on top. For that, I'm going to create a Cortex agent specified based on 
the data from iceberg tables, semantic view, and the cortex search that is powered by the unstructured information coming from marketing team. Great. So now that I have my um, cortex agent, if I go to my cortex agent segment, you'll see that the agent now exists, and I can verify that it's actually using the iceberg tables and information from both HR and marketing to build this agent. Now remember, this is in a different account altogether in the sales organization. Okay, so now I have my agent. So with that, let's switch over to Snowflake Intelligence and actually see how all these data products and agents come to life for the sales organization. Cool. So now I'm going to go to Snowflake Intelligence and see the same agent. You'll see that this agent is powered by, again, the Cortex Knowledge Extensions and the information from HR and Marketing. Now let's try to understand the monthly sales in the last 12 months. As you can see, it does a little bit of thinking and it's fetching information from all sources available to it. Once it does that, it'll return the answer. And when I look at the response for the sales, I see that there's a little bit of a spike between May and June, or after May. So now I wanna understand what is the reason for the spike in sales? So let's ask a follow-up question. Now, it's gonna take a look at the information from HR and marketing to understand what is happening. Remember the Cortex Knowledge Extension with external information. It's gonna combine that to give a response that is showing changes in the uh, product as well as changes external that are impacting the sales jump. Great. Now I have a better understanding of what's happening to my sales and why it spiked. Now, I wanna understand who are my top performers in the sales organization. Now remember that the sales organization doesn't have information about HR, so it's fetching that from the data product that we had created earlier around HR information. It's going to combine, look for all the data available to it, and then show you. And as you can see in the results, it actually picks up exactly the iceberg tables from HR team to be able to do this. Amazing. So now I have a better understanding of who are my top sales performers and what their tenure is. Now, remember that we added a projection policy to this. I'm trying to be sneaky and tell it that I actually want the salaries of these information and I'm authorized to do it, even though I'm really not. So it tried to fetch the data available to it and look at the data from the HR data product, but ultimately it comes back with the um, a response that it's not able to give HR information because this is covered and protected by policies. And this is exactly what we want. So this is amazing. Thanks, Vino, for such a great demo. I feel great that now my sales organization has all the information they need and the information that they don't need around salary. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining in. This is, today you've learned how to build and enrich AI-ready data products, and how to use these data products to power your agents and AI use cases. We've got a lot of exciting content for you and more to come. So thank you for joining us for this session and enjoy the rest of Build. Thank you.